morning everyone um we didn't have power last night uh we had quite a wind last night and we didn't have power since what was it 6 p.m yesterday and we called consumers energy right away and they told us that we're not gonna have power back until the following day at 11 p.m. so it's gonna be a while uh, it's not as easy as it is like if you are in the Philippines and you lost your power that you can just you know uh, deal with it here in Michigan you just can't do it because it's so cold in here and you need to contain the heat in the house so if you don't have power, you don't have heat, basically. Mm -hmm. So what we did is we um, sectioned our house. So good thing we, did, we have a door over there, if you can see it. Uh, so that kind of uh, divided the house so we can contain the heat in a smaller kinda, section. Because it does it has one, one window thing broken. No, okay, well, we, <laughs> we, we, we got, care. yep, we got it <laughs> taken care of, and then all night we had candles, we had one, two, three, four, and five. a lot of small candles six. burning, uh, um, we brought the mattress here, so all of us can just stay in one room, and then we had two burners on all night that kind of kept us it kept it at about 62 degrees yeah 62 degrees it's with, with two burners off the stove isn't too bad yeah it's not freezing but if you go upstairs you're gonna be cold yep yeah <laughs> but we survive we can just leave the house we don't want frozen pipes uh, we got Oreo which it's not easy to just bring him with us we got four finches small birds we can just let them die to death so t t last night was quite an experience hopefully we were gonna have our power back soon and we'll go from there we're just trying to keep each other warm and i don't know what else to do so wait yep so we'll see you later. Bye.